Hi guys, Patrick Nieti here from NugBeaks.com. The Oppo R17 Pro is known for a couple of things. For starters, there's the distinctive gradient design on the back with a matte finish that's really eye-catching. We also have the large 6.4-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED screen with an in-display fingerprint scanner that is protected by the sturdy Corning Gorilla Glass 6. And of course, we have the triple camera setup on the back that works really well in low light conditions. We actually have a detailed camera review about this device, which you can check out in the link at the description below. But other than those flashy things, there's one big feature that the Oppo R17 Pro has that most people might overlook, and that is Oppo's famed SuperVOOC fast charging technology. Today, we're here to dig in further and see how and how well this technology works by comparing it with different smartphones in the market today. To start, let's see how this technology actually works. And you might want to listen closely as Oppo actually did some clever engineering for the SuperVOOC to work on the R17 Pro. And we'll be explaining it in the easiest way possible that everyone can understand. The R17 Pro basically has two battery cells on the inside, which allowed Oppo to use a whopping 50W charger without causing any overheating issues. A 50W charger is almost as fast as what most laptop charger has. For one, the MacBook Pro 2017 that we have here has a 60W charger, which is close than what the R17 Pro has. In comparison, Apple's iPhone X charger only outputs 15W of power, while the Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 only delivers 18W. That is identical to Vivo's dual-engine charger for the V11. And lastly, Huawei's supercharge is only at 22.5 watts. While it appears that the Oppo R17 Pro SuperVOOC charger is indeed the fastest, let's try and compare it with some of the competing technologies in the market today. First, we have the iPhone 10 and a 15 watt charger. Just a quick note, we actually used an iPad charger for this test, so it can at least match all the fast chargers that all of the contenders here have. We will be also comparing the SuperVOOC charger to Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 via the Samsung Galaxy A9 2018. We also have here the Vivo V11 and its dual engine charger. And lastly, the Huawei P20 Pro with its supercharged technology. Now we did this test with the smartphone screens turned on, which means that it would have charged faster with the display off. However, since what we really want to know is the difference between charging durations between these devices, this shouldn't be an issue. As you can see, the Oppo R17 Pro is indeed the fastest. The device easily got a 50% charge in just 10 minutes, while a full 100% charge only took 33 minutes. That is way way faster than our second laser, the Vivo V11, which took an hour and 37 minutes before getting to a 100% charge. Right next to it is the iPhone 10 at 2 hours and 19 minutes, while finishing last is the Galaxy A9 2018 at 2 hours and 48 minutes. Now I know that you're thinking that probably the reason why the R17 Pro finished first is because of its smaller battery. So to further see which one is actually better, let's see how long these devices can reach a 2000mAh charge. Here you can see the 2000mAh equivalent in the percentage of each device's battery charge. The Oppo R17 Pro has a 3700mAh battery which means that you need to get to 54% to get that 2000mAh charge. The iPhone X and its 2716mAh battery should be at 73%, the Samsung Galaxy A9 2018 with a 3800mAh battery at 52%, Vivo V11 with 3400mAh battery at 59%, and lastly, the Huawei P20 Pro at 4000mAh at 50%. As you can see, the results are pretty much the same. The R17 Pro's lead over the V11 is still miles apart. The P20 Pro comes close at the third spot, while the iPhone 10 and the Galaxy A9 2018 fell off the list at 4th and 5th spot respectively. The Oppo R17 Pro SuperVOOC charging is definitely one of the fastest, if not the fastest, and even the most clever charging technology in the industry today. Partnered with its flashy design, an in-display fingerprint scanner, a Super AMOLED screen with Corning Gorilla Glass 6, a camera with a variable aperture that's great for low light, and a 25 megapixel selfie snapper, the Oppo R17 Pro is definitely a showcase of some of the latest and futuristic technologies that most smartphones have these days. 
The Oppo R17 Pro has an official retail price of 38,990 pesos, but is currently available at 6,000 off for 32,990 pesos at Oppo's Valentine's Day sale. And speaking of Valentine's Day and Oppo's fast super vogue flash charging technology, you can share your quick love story in Oppo's Facebook page in a chance to get featured. More details are available in the description below. Again, this has been Patrick Nighty from MyPeaks.com. For more detail talk about this device, you can check out all of the available links in the description below. You may also hit the thumbs up button, share this video if you liked it, subscribe if you still haven't, hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time we post a video. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and yeah, thank you for watching.